Welcome back to our channel. I'm Sid Rajiv, Head of Research at Fundamental Research Corp. So today I'm going to discuss gold. Gold is making uh, headlines recently. Prices are now at $2,000 an ounce, close to record highs. But we feel that gold and silver have upside potential this year. And uh, I'm going to walk you through some of the reasons why we are bullish on gold and silver this year. Uh, I'm going to use my screen, so please come and join me. And uh, all right so here are three reasons why we are positive on gold and silver for this year number one is macro uh, and the reason is that we expect the u.s fed to turn dovish in the coming months and two reasons for that number one is slower global gdp growth and slower gdp growth in the u.s as shown on these charts here number two is inflation has started to taper uh, this chart here shows u.s inflation data and you can see that inflation has been trending lower every month for the past six or seven months. So you feel these two reasons should prompt the U.S. Fed to turn dovish and uh, start pausing or slowing rate hikes in the coming months. And we expect the Fed to start lowering rates by later this year or early next year. And both uh, these factors should support stronger gold prices. The second reason is rising production cost. And as shown on the chart here, Production costs are up 30% in the past three years, but gold prices are up 22%. So gold has not increased, or gold prices have not increased with production costs. And we feel gold has higher upside potential based on this metric. The third reason is geopolitical risk. And historically, gold has performed well whenever there is increase in tensions, increase in geopolitical risk. And since we are expecting a prolonged period of tension between the West and East, we think geopolitical conditions are ideal for to hold gold and silver. Now let's see how we forecast gold prices. So at Fundamental, we use a number of techniques, but today I wanna to walk you through one model that uses US M2 money supply. So this chart here shows the relationship between US M2 money supply and gold prices, and you can see both have been historically positively correlated. And this is a chart we built ourselves, again, based on money supply and gold. And what we did here is we looked at the percent of the total value of above ground gold mined um, as a percent of US M2 money supply. And historically, this percentage has been around 64%. But that number is now at 60%, which means that gold should trend higher and reach closer to 64% uh, and revert to the historic average. Um, now, how do we quantify, quantify this? So this chart here shows the historic relationship between money supply and gold. Historically, gold increased at 8% per annum, money supply increased at 6% per annum. So for each percent change in money supply, gold increased by 1.4%. Uh, and inflation increased at 2% uh, per annum in historically. Now let's look at what happened to gold money supply and inflation in the past three years since the beginning of the pandemic. We saw that money supply is increased or is up 7.7% per annum. And if you apply the historic relationship where gold increases 1.4% to every percent change in money supply, we feel the 7.7% change in money supply to result in a 10.5% increase in gold. And that reflects a gold price forecast of 2130 or $2,130 an ounce, um, which should um, be sometime this year. So that's uh, our forecast for gold. Uh, so in this video, we mentioned, or we looked at reasons why we're bullish on gold. We mentioned our forecast, and also the catalyst for this is when the US Fed turns um, dovish in the coming months or towards end of the year. So that's what I have uh, for you today. If you like these videos, give us a like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with you with more ideas.